Okay, so well, uh, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for for this invitation to talk about music uh, in the Transcribus User Conference. Uh, so well, uh, let me start with an introduction to to the problem that we are dealing with here. So the thing is that uh, music is a key element of our culture, uh, and humanity learned to preserve and transmit music by writing. And as a result of this. We estimate that there are billions of pages who read the music all over the world that represent, as, as happens with text sources, the music sources also represent an incredible heritage that has been encoding centuries of human creativity. And this heritage is crucial for carrying out logical studies that will allow us, to, allow us to reach a knowledge beyond our current understanding of the evolution of music first, but also paramount to better understand our own cultural evolution. But the big obstacle in this context is that most of these sources exist only as physical copies that are stored in libraries and archives. And in this form, they are doomed to remain hidden and the huge potential to explore a music culture is prone to be completely wasted. So against this situation, there has been many efforts to develop in technology that takes these music sources as input, reads their content and presents them in a format that makes their indexing and retrieval finally possible. And this is known as optical music recognition or handwritten music recognition when applied to handwritten sources in an analogy to handwritten text recognition. So I'm going to explain now the technology behind uh, optical music recognition or handwritten music recognition very briefly. So the task of teaching computers to read music has been studied for years. Currently, there exists some available software for optical music recognition. And well, although they don't mention this explicitly when advertise the product, these software solutions only work for modern printed sheet music. And even in these conditions, quite often the results are said to be uh, disappointing. So in recent years, my research team has been actively working on further developing this kind of, of music reading systems for all types of music, but especially for have written music heritage. And we have many recent use cases demonstrating the success of this technology with different sources and manuscript types. Uh, this experience has allowed us to determine a general workflow which can be adapted to multiple scenarios with moderate effort. So what we are trying to do now is to transfer this uh, knowledge that we have developed in, well, in the scientific field, let's say, or in control scenarios, we want to transfer this knowledge to usable tools so that all people can benefit from. So in what follows, I am going to present these rather generic blocks for optical music recognition or handwritten music recognition using a, a use case about Plinchan music manuscripts. So musical documents include different types of information. In general, for the purpose of written music recognition, we will be interested in two of these, the notes placed on staffs, uh, on the staff lines, and the lyrics, uh, which uh, represent the text that must be sung. Also, we can also find some ornamental letters that contribute also to the, to the text uh, to recognize. So therefore, the layout analysis stage must first detect and categorize the different regions of the image to know the type of information they contain and where they are located within the image. Once we have isolated these components, on the one hand, it region with musical notes is processed by a handwritten music recognition system to recover the musical information that is encoded in the image. For this, uh, we have developed some kind of general music language that basically encodes the, the clef, the, the, the first sign that indicates some information about the, the meaning of the rest of the notes, and then a general language that gives the information of where the notes are placed on the staff. So as I said, this process obtains this a textual encoding and ad hoc textual encoding of the written music. On the other hand, the text regions uh, must be processed by OCR or HDR systems, obtaining the list of characters that are contained therein. Here with music, we have an additional step that we must uh, separate the text into syllabus because we need to know how to how to uh, put together the words to be sung. Once the musical information, notes and text are recovered from the image, 
This must be transformed into a structural digital format, a standard format that allows subsequent processes. So there are many of these in music. Among, among them, we can highlight MEI, the analog to TI in the musical context, but there are many other possibilities that have a wide support. And there are even some uh, conversos to, to navigate from one to, to the other. But basically, the idea is to finally represent the music content in a standard format. So, <clears throat> so far, uh, this is what we have developed in our, in our research, in my research group. And the final step is to deploy these techniques to, to generate uh, usable tools. So here in this work, we propose the inclusion of the know-how investigated in recent years into the transcribers tool. In this way, any music manuscript could be processed automatically in the same way that text manuscripts are already being processed by transcribers. And integrating this into transcribers infrastructure, we will allow uh, all, all the, the users to, to use and enhance the existing OMR or HMR technology. So basically to sum up my, my talk here, I would like to emphasize that uh, the music context is an exciting application that, that with, with a wide range of, of possibilities, the research in the, from the computer science perspective has already shown promising results. So we know that the task is doable with moderate effort, uh, but it is yet necessary to transfer this now how to use all technologies. Of course, it's use case will require some uh, minor changes in the, in the general workflow, but we are pretty sure that our, we, can, we can use our, our general blocks for processing music. So the, the, main, the main conclusion of my, of my talk is that the current state of affairs represents an, a good opportunity to increase transcribers' scope of application, including all the music heritage that, that we can found all around the world. So before ending, let me say that we are looking for collaborators who will be willing to join in this into the development of the technology in Transcribus. Currently, the project is led by, well, on the one hand, by myself from the technical computer science perspective, but also by Robert Cruxida from the point of view of, uh, of digital musicology. So please uh, contact me or Robert if you have any question or are interested in this project. And that's all from my side. Thank you very much for your time and attention.